how to make a radio when the world's gone silent, and more importantly, why you even need it. Because out here, silence means death. And maybe, just maybe, someone's still broadcasting hope or a trap. Hum, <laughs> your fancy gadgets died with the internet, remember? But hey, trash still talks. You'll need a rusty razor blade. Yeah, the one that probably wants tetanus in your bloodstream a pencil lead or safety pin, some wire ripped from a dead toaster, a chunk of wood or plastic, and one lonely headphone you found in the dirt. Hmm. <laughs> now scrape that blade till it shines like guilt. Wrap the wire around it tight like you're choking your regrets and touch the pin right at the edge. That's your detector. Science. Kinda. <laughs> Careful now, don't fry yourself. Hook that wire to your headphone, run another one out the window, or up some rusted car antenna if you dare. Tune it with your fingers, your patience, and pure chaos. Uh-huh, hear that? Someone's out there. Maybe friendly? Maybe dinner? Hard to tell these days. If it hisses, crackles, or screams, congrats, genius, you've got yourself a radio. Now, turn it off before they hear you. Subscribe for more post-apocalyptic DIYs.